Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and I thought I would film a flip through of my foundation pages for my 2020 December daily. So I've chosen to go with um, an album from Ali Edwards. This is an album from last year that I bought this year and it's the red with the merry everything and happy always in gold foil on the front. Then my friend Carney bought me the December Daily um, pin and I've popped that through the album as my date, as it says December Daily 2020. And then you'll see that just on the inside where I've added the backing and that's stayed on really nicely. So let's have a look. So I've chosen to go with the Ali Edwards product play this year again. And I love the ideas that have come up um, this year. So this year, the focus has been on transparency, texture and triangle. So you'll see quite a lot of those featured throughout my album. So my cover page is this acetate, um, this white check acetate. And I've used a felt star from the um, star kit, I think it was. And then also the December 2020 chipboard piece was from the Paisley Press mini kit. So first up, I have this transparency here. And this, I've actually cut a circle in ready. So this is going to be for day one. So day one, I'm going to have the transparency with the circle. And then I'm going to have a layer of vellum underneath. And my um, my journaling is going to be in just in this circle bit on the vellum. And then underneath that, I'm going to have a full page photo. And then what I've done is just popped in a page protector um, just for the minute with my um, number one on, which is all ready to go. And um, this then this page protector will come out. Um, once my photo goes in or if I decide to add my photo um, into the page protector again that's equally fine as well so that is number one um, nothing else in here is numbered and I've made the decision this year to do that so I can swap and change things around so then next up I have another transparency this is just um, a clear transparency and the banner idea was taken from the product play class from Ali as well but I changed it up a little bit. Um, Ali had, um, I think it was three banners and there were three rows, so it was nine. Um, so I changed mine into an actual banner and I've stuck my pieces down. And then what I've done is I've actually taken a page protector and I've cut the page protector out, which was a four by six page protector, cut it down slightly and I've actually stitched it on using some gold thread. And to go in that, I've made this little um, flip out envelope to be able to add my photos and journaling for the day. And then for my number, I can pop that on top or find another place on here to add that. And then at the moment, I've just backed the back of the triangles as well to cover up the tape. Um, and then I could add an embellishment here as well. This was an experiment with my mink that I've had for two years and not used. So I used some um, heat resistant acetate and um, it's a little bit of mixed results. Um, it was heat resistant acetate and the mink um, uh, texture paste. And then I applied it using a paintbrush and then let that dry completely and then run it through my mink machine. And I created my own transparency. So this is a, just a little bit of a filler, but it may end up having another embellishment added. But at the moment it's in there um, as it is. Then we have this. This is another idea from Product Play as well. Some of these ideas are from Product Play and some are from the prep party. Um, this was a cut file that we got with Product Play and it's got five little circles that open up. And then we've got some other areas here that are transparent. And I've popped behind some snow acetate in some of those areas. And then I will add my photos and journaling behind these five flaps. Um, during the month of December and then I'll also add some extra embellishments on as I go as well. I've got the backing here ready to stick down once I pop the photos in and then the back I may add extra embellishments on to the back as well we'll see how we get on. Next up is another transparency and this here I used vinyl and it was another cut file um, that we got in the product play I think it was or prep party um, and it was actually printed um, this was printed the, the idea was the joy the word joy was printed um, using a laser printer and then um, minked 
but I don't have a laser printer so I decided to go with mine um, using red vinyl instead and then I stitched this pocket with this star acetate on the front and just added this Christmas magic thicker um, and a couple of snowflakes as well. Then I've got a page protector in here. So I have this absolute obsession with the red truck with a Christmas tree in the back. And the idea was that I was going to cut this and then have it hanging onto the uh, one of the set of three rings, probably the bottom ones. But it's just so thin. Um, so it's not really the right shape for me to be able to do that. But I've added it into the page protector. I may well use this um, in this page um, if I choose to do that as I go throughout the month. So I've given myself the option to include that. Then I've got a three by eight in here because I like to swap and change the sizes. So this three by eight was a card from the Paisley Press Kit. It was on a six by eight paper. Um, and all I've done is I've actually just trimmed it down. So this was the other side. I think it was this side, actually. So I've just trimmed it. Um, I, um, might have been that side. I can't remember. Um, I've just trimmed it down um, just to use this section. And I might pop this one in the back um, as another option for embellishment. At the moment, I've not got it in there. But um, this may be just a filler page or it may be um, a story for the day. I'm not 100% sure yet. Then we also had this one was from the prep party, I believe. Um, and this one here is an interactive one. So this actually pulls up. Um, so the wrapping paper um, goes in here and then it pulls up to reveal the wrapped presents. So I've just popped a binder clip on just to keep my layers together for the minute. And um, that will be completed in the month of December. Then we have a large number eight and I've actually cut it twice on my Cricut and I've also kept the cut file as well. So when it get, gets to day eight, I can um, look to either add my photo and trim it out to the size of eight. Or if I'm clever enough, then I will have it that my photo will just be in the shape of an eight. And I'll use again my Cricut to do a print and cut um, where I can actually trim it out as long as I'm not losing too much detail in these sections. Or I could use this as my journaling space as well because I've actually cut myself two to give myself the option of that. So I look back at last year's album and I really like the idea of the three by the four lots of three by four pockets where I had four tags. So I use these from Ali Edwards and these were gift tags. And I just cut off the bottom section that had to and from um, and then just pop these on top of some plain white cardstock and added a little bit of red ribbon on the top of each. And this will give me plenty of opportunity to be able to add my photos, my number for the day um, and journaling as well. I haven't got anything on the back of these at the moment, but I am leaving myself room to still be able to um, play with some products and add in extra stories as I've needed. This was another idea from Product Play as well, and it was a three part window. And um, what I've done here is I've actually added in the same acetate at the top and the bottom. Um, I've got the backing cut ready as well, so I can glue those together um, once I've sandwiched my photo in between. So I could have my photo here and my journaling on the back, um, but it's given me plenty of option to be able to um, include that. Then I have this acetate here, which is a whole load of numbers, and I thought I would get it cut and ready in my album. I've assigned this to day 13. I don't have anything else to go with it at the moment, um, but it's in here and ready. Um, so I have got that. Then I've also got this little pocket here. Um, I have a die that creates this pocket. And then what I've done is I've actually grabbed um, one of the cut apart papers from Hey Santa. And I've just popped a brad through four of the tags because it's given me room on the back to be able to add my um, photos and my journaling for the day and my number. But my number's probably going to go on here, I would have thought. Um, but there's plenty of space on here for probably a tag um, shape photo. Um, photos on the back of these tags as well and then those just go back into that little pocket then here we just have another page protector and I've just used some of the cards from the paisley press kit and I've just chosen a couple of those to go in there and a couple on the back no embellishments at the moment because I want to be able to do that in December I don't know where the photos are going I don't know if I'm going to end up pulling out these cards, adding in extra photos. So I don't want to commit to anything at the moment, but they're in there as a placeholder ready. And then this was another idea from Product Play. Um, and this is a flip out. So I've chosen to use some of the pattern paper from Hey Santa and then an acetate, a snowflake, the snowflake acetate, which um, you can see earlier on in my album. And then this flips out to be able to add 
um, a full size photo or journaling or multiple photos. Um, but the option is there. And then I've just added this little wreath um, as an extra design as well. And then on the back, I've, tr I've incorporated both of those um, together on this same um, on this same page. So this was another idea from Product Play, which was a um, pieced together um, heart, which we got the template for. And I've used um, different pattern papers and felt and cork and acetate. And then what I've actually done is I've um, backed my paper with this gorgeous star paper from the Hey Santa collection and then I've actually attached it in underneath as well and then I've just stitched around the outside of the heart with the gold foil and that's going to give me opportunity to be able to add in a photo which I can trim down to the heart size um, and also maybe cover up my journaling that's underneath as well and then I can add some embellishments on the top. Then I've got this. I saw um, someone on um, YouTube had done a video on, um, she's called Nellie and Clem is her channel name, and she had done a VHS tape. And so I absolutely loved it. So I went on to Cricut Design Space and I found a VHS and I also found a cassette tape as well. And I just cut them out twice, once in white and once in this pink from the Hey Santa paper. And then I've just used some acetate to um, attach this in. So I've just cut a strip of acetate, punched my hole. So it means that I'm not punching actually through my um, my project. And then on the back, I've not backed it as of yet, um, but that will have a pattern paper or a photo or something else um, ready for me to add on um, in the month of December. Next up, we've got another one from Product Play, I think. Um, and this one here is um, an acetate that has been, I've actually trimmed this acetate into two sections um, and this acetate here is from hunky dory i believe and it's this beautiful um gar fairy garden scene and i've used some washi tape from hey santa to attach the right hand side on um, and then this one is bound on using the um, the rings and then this will open up for a full page photo and then what i've actually done is i added a couple of eyelets in to the acetate as my binding to be able to keep that page together and then on the back of that i have backed that with some more pattern paper this is from the snowflake collection these tags here are from ali edwards again and these again these are gift tags um, but i like the sentiment so i trimmed off the bottom of this one and the bottom of this one um, this one's got the two and the from at the top so my idea is that i'll have a photo that's going to cover that and then also i can use the areas underneath because I've popped these onto um, on using brads um, and these can just swivel up to either show more photos or journaling underneath and um, obviously I'll find a place for my number as well. Um, so that page is um, set and almost ready to go. And then I also added in another three by eight here. And these cards are from Freckled Fawn from the November kit. And um, I did this little, um, almost like a tree. I wanted it to look like a tree. So I used some of the washi from Freckled Fawn and the chipboard from Freckled Fawn as well. And then the star is from the Ali Edwards star kit. And then this card here is also from the... Uh, from Freckled Fawn as well and then I equally love the back of these as well so I don't know whether both sides are going to be shown or whether these are going to be covered with photos but I have them in my album ready and then I wanted to match the same paper both sides so I used another one of the same paper and backed this side and I've left this one open ready for me to be able to um, to do something in December but I don't want to necessarily commit to it just at the moment and I didn't want the same tags across I might change my mind when it comes to doing it and I've got some extra ones of these so we'll see how I get on with that this one here is um, an advent page so um, if you've watched um, any of my videos from last year I do a scrappy advent with my um, a couple of my friends and with my mum and we exchange and um, we buy and exchange an advent um, to, for each other so what I wanted to do this year is I wanted to have an advent page um, that I could include a little photo from every um, advent every day of the advent um, and so I have um, the numbers all in random order like an advent calendar would be um, and I've used three different types of alphas. So I've used, or numbers, should I say. So I've used, the white ones are from um, Ali Edwards um, from this year's release. 
the red felt numbers are from trim craft i think and then the gold puffy ones are from felicity jane from a couple of years ago and then i have got this in here at the moment i don't know if it's going to check i don't know if it's going to stay um this is one of the two by two pockets and um this is my original idea for my scrappy advent i was just going to print a small little photo for each of the advents and then turn it over with the journaling on on the back but um this may or may not stay or I might trim this bit down and just have the exchange part so that was to symbolize the exchange of scrappy advent and then um, it's white on the back at the moment so I have no plans or ideas for that it could be a full page photo and then I've also just popped in some more cards from the paisley press kit ready for um an easy day if I've only got a single photo then these are great little filler cards and then I've done the same on the back so I've got cards in ready um, for maybe a couple of quiet days that I have um, where it'll be nice and easy for me to be able to add those in this here was from the um, product play I think and this was designed by well the idea was by um, Tashiana Gordon and um she had a printable that said joy um and as you stacked up the three printables you had the word joy overlapping each other now i couldn't get the printable to work and also i wanted to change my word to hope so hope for me is definitely a word that i am looking to incorporate into my album um throughout the month of december and um so what i actually did was i printed these onto i'm sorry i cut these on vinyl on my Cricut and I've got the H and the P on the front and then I've got the O and the E in the green behind and then I've got the full word hope in the red so I have stuck with the colours of mainly Hey Santa um, and then my idea is that I have at least one photo that's going to be the same size as that O and that's where it's going to be adhered to and then on the red vinyl I would put print out and attach my uh, journaling probably on vellum onto this o so these three all come together as one story and obviously i need to find a home for my um my number on here as well and then into a little two by two pocket page now this one is very busy um i don't know if this one's going to stay i'm on the fence with this one so i've cut down some pattern paper from hey santa and i've also used the stamps from ali edwards as well that i purchased this year i love the falala stamp um so i've used that quite a few times and um what may end up happening is i might end up taking out the pattern paper that i've cut down um, and just using the um tag stamps as my feature Next up, this was an idea from um, Product Play again, and this was a like a Christmas tree mini album in your album. How, can, how many times did I say album? Um, and so I have um, three of these all cut to the same size. Um, what I decided to do was actually um, do a little bit of fringing on my tree to give it a bit of texture. So I just cut some papers from hey santa i cut some cork and i also cut some felt just to mix up the different textures and then i'd also bought this little light trim um, and i also added that on to um, the tree as well to make it look like a christmas tree i added an avery tab onto the side here as well and stamped around the tree and this will probably move a little bit further um, in on my album so it's not necessarily going to stay here but I do have this all ready to go and then a pattern paper um, on the back to sandwich this um, mini album. It's only three pages, but to sandwich it all together. Then I just have a piece of acetate in here, which is like a starry snowflake acetate. Then I have a another pocket page. And again, I've just popped in this card here from the Paisley Press Kit. Um, which is the cheer and chaos card and then I also had this reindeer um, trim that I have used some gold stitching to adhere to the edge of the page protector so that's one thing I haven't massively done at the moment is add much trim on so there will be a lot more different trims and, and pom-pom trims and such in this album as well but um, my album's pretty chunky and I'm a bit worried about how much more I can fit in it to be honest so um, I'm going to play it by ear in terms of how much um, trim goes in but there will be some pom-pom trim at least 
This was another idea as well um, on product play, I believe, or the prep party. Um, so I have die cut the word using my Cricut um, and the word was hope. And this was backed with something else. So I changed it up slightly and actually backed mine with acetate. And then what I want to do is add a um, my journaling to go over this word hope. So you can sort of see the journaling through the acetate. Um, and then there's a little thumb pocket here in order for me to be able to pull um, that insert out of my album then this was another idea from Ali where she had cut these little rectangles um, and built them up in a little scene so this may be a filler page I'm not too sure at the moment um, but I just added a few embellishments on between um, from the um, Ali Edwards kit and also from the um, from the Hey Santa collection. Um, so this is pretty much done. I think I want to add a couple of more things onto these as well, but I'm going to leave that for, for now in case I do end up adding a couple of small photos um, inside these felt squares. And I also use one of the three by eight page protectors and I use the, the confetti kit from Hey Santa. And then I um, use some of the little vellum pieces, some of the confetti um, and some of the little snowflake acetates as well. And then these tiny words were from the Paisley Press Kit as well, I think. And all I've done is I've just, they seem to be a little bit jammed in there at the moment, but they do move. I have used my um, powder tool from EK Success. And what this does is when I apply it to the back of the sticker, it takes the stick off of it. So I can actually have them loose in there without them sticking to the, um, the page protector. You do need to make sure it's fully covered in order for it to be able to move. It does move in there. It's just a bit just a bit static um but i have also then fused the top and this paper here was from um, a six by eight paper from the paisley press kit again and i have um just trimmed that down to three by six to fit in the bottom there this i've just used at the moment the back of this um but i again i could cover that if i wanted another um design on there instead and then as i said about the vhs this is where it features so i have used the same pattern paper as what i did the um cassette tape in and i've used the same thickers as well and this one says movie time and then what i've done is i've created this pullout um of one of the um i think view master i think it's called um and then that's going to spin around to be able to add in some small little photos of new Christmas films that I've watched this year and then that just spins straight back around again and then gets hidden but you can see there's a tab here and that's going to remind uh, me that that actually pulls out and then I'm going to have a mechanism to stop that from completely coming all the way around because it is only a half circle um, I was toying with the idea of having it as a full circle um, in here but I decided just to go with a half circle in the end and um, I really like how interactive that's going to be and then again I need to cover the back uh, with some pattern paper and then I've just popped in this six by eight paper from another one from the paisley press kit um, and again this one here as well this little Santa bag was um, my friend. <clears throat> my friend had gifted me um, some things from the um, from Ali Edwards. So she bought me the pin and she bought me the super cute Ali Edwards pen because I have the best friends. And um, what I have done is um, it was in this little bag and I thought this is going to be so cute to include in my album. So I have punched a half circle out of the top. And then I'm going to design a tag um, and put that in and that is going and then probably my number will go in the belt as well. And then that's going to be um, for the day. All I've done is because it is a bag that does fold out is I've just glued all of the seams down to make it nice and flat. But it's still wide enough for me to be able to pop a tag in. And then 24, I have actually um, done a little bit of texture paste on the cork. And I just run um, some texture paste through a star stencil to create these numbers. They're not necessarily going to stay in this order, but I've popped them in a page protector along with the card that was Twas the Night Before Christmas. <clears throat> then I've got another three by eight um, in here ready. And this card here again from the Paisley, Paisley Press Kit, um, it's all messy um, in the most wonderful possible way because I thought that's probably going to be apt for what our living room looks like on Christmas morning so I've popped that in there ready 
And then the final thing in here as well, this December calendar was also from the Paisley Press Kit. Um, and my idea for this is very similar to what Ali's done before as well, um, where little photos are printed. So I thought it'd be great to do like a December in review page. So I've popped this at the back um, because I think that's probably where it's going to end. Um, and then just on the back, I've added in this black and white gingham pattern. So this is everything that I've got set ready for my 2020 album. Um, I've done a lot of prep as you can see so I'm really excited to start adding my photos and my journaling in um, I'm also very nervous about how thick this album is so um, things may end up getting moved taken out um, and but I'll make a decision at the time when I'm doing it um, so this is obviously pretty much ready to go so I hope you've enjoyed this flip through of my 2020 um, foundation pages if you have please give the video a thumbs up um, if you're new i'd love you to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions at all please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below um, and stay tuned for some more scrappy adventures involving my december daily album see you soon bye